Hello again. It's Friday, June 26, 2020. This is Journal TV, and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. Two surprising bits of news came from Wednesday's Allegheny County School Board meeting. First, an amended budget was passed with no increase for employees, but one which did not include the previously agreed upon raise for Superintendent Eugene Katalka. Secondly, Katalka then told the school board that he'd retire on September 30th. Allegheny County Public Schools will always have a special place in my heart. However, with that being said, and the board no longer interested in honoring its good faith negotiations with me, I've decided to retire effectively September 30th, 2020. I'd like to close with a quote from Martin Luther King. The function of education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character. That is the goal of true education. Thank you, and I wish you all the very best. The Allegheny County School Division also announced on Tuesday that veteran IT director Jeff Allman would retire September 1st. Under Allman's leadership and guidance, Allegheny County Schools have provided all of its students with Chromebooks, teacher training, and much more. Shannon Brantley of Clifton Forge is the first student at DSLCC to complete the Google IT course. The 300-hour online course created and designed by Google is, quote, a good foundation for anybody wishing to get into the field of information technology, Brantley said. And now a word from our sponsor. DSLCC announced Wednesday that it would offer what it termed a robust class schedule for the fall semester. Most courses will be offered online with the exception for hands-on requirements. More information on the college's plans are available right now on AlleghenyJournal.com. The Iron Gate Town Council heard Thursday from its mayor that $90,000 is the purchase price for the old schoolhouse on Route 220 and the council passed its next year's budget. Separately, the bathrooms are open at the playground and the river park will reopen when its bathroom is serviced. Right now, as the schoolhouse sits, um, with him removing the, the blue metal building and the concrete uh, loading dock from the front of the schoolhouse, his, his sale price is $90,000. Hmm. State Farm Insurance in Covington held a ribbon cutting event earlier today with Melissa Hilton thanking everybody for their good wishes and touting the services of this well-respected insurance company. Here she is at the event. Uh, most people think of State Farm as home and auto insurance and that is where we kind of put our first and foremost priorities but just wanted to also let you know that we offer life insurance, we offer investment products, we offer health products like um, some disability insurance and um, lots of investment products. So we just want to be your one-stop shop. We also can do business policies. So for all of you small business owners out there, we would like to meet you and talk to you about your needs as well. And we'll be right back. Now for local obituaries. 
Millie Taylor, 67, of Runsford, died Wednesday. Stella Reinhold, 85, of Runsford, died Wednesday. Randolph Dennis, 70, of Monterey, died on Tuesday. Annabelle Peters, a Covington infant, died on Tuesday. Donald Floyd Sr., 85, of Bena Vista, died Wednesday. Faith Petty, 78, of Goshen, died Wednesday. And Jewel Dolan, 93, of Lewisburg, passed away on Wednesday. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. Now it's time to check out the local weather forecast. On Saturday, it should be partly cloudy with isolated showers. High of 89 with a low of 67. On Sunday, partly cloudy with scattered showers. High of 87 and a low of 66. And on Monday, partly cloudy with scattered showers. High of 89 and a low of 65 degrees. And that's the way it is on Friday, June 26, 2020. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24 7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV. Pre-planning a funeral presents a loving and considerate gift to your family. Making decisions now provide a framework for future choices. We invite you to stop by the funeral home. Let us answer any questions you may have about pre-funding or pre-arranging a funeral service.